Hi everyone, welcome to PCB Coffee Talk. I am Tara Dunn with Omni PCB. And I'm Elizabeth Foradori with Omni PWB. During our sessions, Elizabeth and I focus on things related to printed circuit board manufacturing. Today we'll be chatting about flexible circuit stiffener options. Flexible circuit applications often require support in areas where connectors or other components are applied. And polyimide stiffeners are often used to add thickness under conductors to meet ZIF connector requirements. They can also be used to give added strength to high wear areas, and they can also be used to better control bend or flexing areas. Polyamide stiffener material is available in thicknesses ranging from 1 mil to 7 mil, and this allows designers the flexibility when building thicknesses to meet ZIF connectors. These connectors typically require the flex to be 12 mils thick, and this is often thicker than the standard single-sided or double-sided stack-ups. Polyamide stiffeners are typically applied with thermal set adhesive during the same press cycle as the polyamide coverlay. This has two benefits. It saves processing time for the manufacturer and also allows the manufacturer to route the stiffener at the same time as the circuit outline to help meet tight tolerances. Just a quick tip as you're doing your design, the stiffener and coverlay termination point should overlap a minimum of 30 mils to avoid a stress point and to reduce the chance of traces breaking or cracking. You can also use rigid stiffeners. Um, they can be used in a variety of thicknesses, everywhere from 3 mils to 10 mils or even higher if required. They're used to give added rigidity under a component area or sometimes used as a carrier panel for automated assembly processing. They're bonded to the flex circuit using a pressure sensitive adhesive or a thermoset adhesive. The pressure sensitive adhesive will be less expensive because it doesn't go through another press cycle. However, it's not as robust in a harsh environment. The component holes um, in the stiffener are recommended to be 15 mils greater than the circuit component holes to allow for registration tolerances. Thank you for joining us for PCB Coffee Talk. Please contact us with any questions you might have or for additional information. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll be with us again for our next Coffee Talk in the near future.